Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope your summer is going well or whatever is left of the summer at this point. I'm personally ready for some cooler days to come. But anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the video. This one is kind of exciting to me as what I'm trying to do in this video, I'm trying to go over my basically Brickmania collection of build kits. And most, most of those kits I already kind of overviewed or made a review videos on those. So I'm gonna try and make it quick, but I don't know how it's gonna go as I'm gonna try to show you each kit that's, again, this is a built kit that I've already done for Brickmania. This does not count any kind of uh, backlogs that I haven't done for Brickmania kits or anything that I might get in the future. It's basically at this point in time that I'm doing this video is what I have. And the idea here is I'm trying to rank it basically, uh, going from the least of my favorite Brickmania kits or sets to most of my favorite ones. So let's go ahead and start going through some of them. Again, I'm trying not to spend too much time. I think some of them are mostly covered in my review videos. Go check them out. I have a review playlist if you're interested. But let's go ahead and start with, I guess, the least favorite one, number 19. So this will be my number 19 and I don't know if it counts as a kit, but it did came in a clamshell. So I'm going to try to fit it here. So this is World War One German Cavalry Lancer. It's a pretty cool kit, but again, it's kind of small. Um, comes with a horse with this World War One guy, cavalry guy, very nicely printed job. Really like this kit, but unfortunately, since this is the smallest one I have, it lands on my last spot. All right, so the next one following this will be, I guess, number 18 or whatever you want to call it. I'll put the actual names of the kits maybe in the video here. Uh, but this one is the artillery piece, which is Pack 40 l if I'm not mistaken. I mean, this is the clamshell I have here. Again, pretty small kit, but I do like the color scheme on this. Brick build color scheme. And I like the 3D printed elements and some of the stickers that were used. Very cool kit. I'm really happy to have it, and this is going to be number 18. Up next is the World War II German, I don't know if it's like a motorcycle thing. It's called Ketterkrat. So this is what the clamshell looks like for it. Again, fairly small build. Does not come with the minifigures. This is a BKM minifigure that I've added here, and this is, I think, the TMC one. But anyways, this is the kit. Get a little bit of 360, nicely done camo via bricks. Do like this kit a lot, but not as much as the other ones. So here we go. Next up, from my least to the most favorite kits, and I have really trouble getting this fit on the screen, on the camera, but I'll do my best. Maybe I'll give it a bit of a lift. So what we have here, we have Brick Mania, I don't know how you really say it, Monitor Walk Crane. And little that people know that Brick Mania, okay, okay this is the MLC 300. A uh, little people that know that this is actually Brick Mania kit and Brick Mania did or still, I'm not sure if it still does, but they do some construction kits, custom Lego kits for um, Monitor Walk Company. I know they made some other ones as well, but this is the one I have. I really quite enjoy building this. It's a functioning crane that you can actually move back and forth. Quite a cool, small little build. I do enjoy it. So this would land it on number 16 for me. All right, at number 15, what we have here is we have a Kubelu Wagon. Again, this one does not come with the minifigures. I have added those separately. This is the World War II German military vehicle. I think it's based on VW Beetle, if I'm not mistaken. I do like some of the print job on this. Really cool, small little kit. It might be retired by Brookmania, but I'm not too sure. Came with this clamshell. And this is what it kind of looks like here. Yeah, this one I think is number 15 for me. All right, next up I have Jeep Quarterton, Jeep Willy. This is a World War II American vehicle. Brickmania made a bunch of those Jeeps at this point, different versions, variations. 
does not come with a minifigures. I don't think it has any printed elements, mostly just stickers, but then the stickers look pretty cool. And you got this machine gun up top. Pretty cool little build. This is the clamshell. Let me show you as well. And that's it. I really like it. A little bit more than the German one. Number 13, we have pretty awesome Brickmania kit, Roman Chariot, two-wheeled racing car. Give you a little bit of 360 on this. This is a pretty fragile kit, or built, I should say, but it looks so nice. It has some printed elements here on the side, in the front. It comes only with one Legionnaire minifigure right here. I did add Archer separately. This is also a BKM figure. But you have to be really careful with this one because it's made out of the bricks and it's a bit on a fragile side, but it looks pretty awesome as a display. We'll go. We have a little bit of an army build going here. And this is the clamshell. So this one I would land on the 13 on my BKM list. All right, up next, what we have is fairly small, but very cool. Kit, 8 US color heavy artillery and this one actually does come with two minifigures give you show you a clamshell really quickly this is what it looks like and this one is pretty awesome because the minifigs are amazing a nice print job sorry about the reflection on those then you got the 3D cappies. Again, I don't want to spend too much time going through them as I probably already showed them at some point. And you also have some of this 3D printed elements here on the box as well. Very nice kit. So this one lands at number 12. All right, so up next, we have a pretty awesome kit again. This is one of the older ones, oldie but goodie. Uh, this is the Humvee M1025 and on this one this Humvee kit came as a standard base version M998 but then you could have added a bunch of clamshell add-on packs which I did here and you built basically the stirred up top does not come with a minifigure just want to have this disclaimer here but this is pretty awesome I have it as basically like a desert stone version of the Humvee give it 360 again it became Brickmania made a bunch of those hummus at this point. Uh, but they all kind of look the same or similar. And I'll give you a little bit of a view on the box. So this is the base version. And then you have, oh, the clamshell just fell. You have basically a turret that you kind of built. And this is exactly what we have here. All right, that's it. All right, what we have next is we have our German Special Forces ATV. And this is exactly what it's called. It's on the clamshell. German Special Forces ATV. So this kit came together. So there's a combo of an ATV and the German Special Forces. I think Brickmania is now releasing this minifigure separately, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't think you are able to get this ATV. And ATV has a pretty awesome print job on the fenders. So I want to show this off. The figure is pretty cool. I do have it, I guess, ranked a bit higher than the Humvee, but I do really like it because of the prints and then the 3D printed helmet as well. Has been, it's just like a small kit, but it's packed with so much things. Next up, again, part of the modern, modern warfare or whatnot, if you want to call it. We have Mercedes-Benz MB240 with the two pretty awesome minifigures. And I do rank this one as number number nine, if I'm not mistaken. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. So this one is pretty cool. It has printed parts. I do like a lot the figures. I like the fact that this female figure has a 3D printed elements and the helmet and a little bit of the pony hair, ponytail here. Very nicely done figures and the kit itself. Whoopsie. This guy in here in the little hole. Give you a little bit of 360. Very nicely done modern kit. Next up, we're gonna roll in our chip duo. Love this kit a lot. 
So we're not done with the small kiss just yet, but the goody one. This is a nice one. So they've got this chip duo, and this is the clamshell. It really looks nice in the city. If you want to have like some kind of layout, diorama, you have these figures that are done nicely. All the print job on them are amazing. Even the motorcycle has some print job on it. You have this windshield. Check this out. And you have two of those bad boys. Flying in. AH-6 Little Bird Attack Helicopter. And this is a pretty awesome kit by Brickmania. The version I have is kind of a bit outdated. Not the latest one. But I did add this extra ammo shoots. So I think it looks a little bit better. And then it came with the stickers. No printed elements on this one. A little bit of 360. I do like this one a lot. I think it looks nice. It's good part of the any kind of modern military display then you know we had this in Magadishu so this is pretty Black Hawk Down so this is pretty cool kit I really enjoy this all right so we are getting a bit progressively bigger and bigger when it makes sense the bigger the kit the cooler it is so now we're moving on to the I mean decent size uh, kit which is Arado Blitz AR-234 and this one I don't know I really liked it I saw it in the War Thunder, then Brickmania released it. This is part of the Wonder Waffa, um, so like futuristic German World War II builds. And this one actually did exist and uh, was used in operations. And this is one of the first in the world operational uh, jet powered bombers. So, what do, this is what we have here. I like the camo job, nice print elements. I really love the cockpit. I think uh, designer, I think Yasta, he nailed it looks pretty amazing it does come with one minifigure let me go ahead and grab him actually yeah this is the world war ii german minifigure that comes with it nice brown leather jacket has some crazy mask on its face yeah that's it that's the kit really liking it you actually can build uh, different versions there's like a c or b version of this you have extra parts nonetheless very nice all right now we're in top five exciting stuff what can be in top five in my collection? <laughs> well, the stuff that I built. And yeah, surprise, surprise, not a small kit. Uh, you think it's gonna be something big now? This is this is the KFZ2 World War II German radio truck. And I really like, I mean, it's a small build, but it's, I don't know, it has really good uh, flavor to it. It just, I don't know, it's just cute, small. It comes on actually with two minifigures. And minifigures are pretty cool. Uh, this last one here, it's, uh, it's African core. Infantry guy, but a German boy with infantry guy, but he doesn't he's not part of the kit. So I'm gonna actually can remove him so it doesn't get too confusing. Now it comes with two figures. I do love um, the print job on them, and of course you got this 3D printed helmets. I love those a lot. I don't know the colors so the fix look amazing. And you got this olive green. The kit itself is pretty cool. It has some 3D printed parts for the radio, and then you have this African core. For the Germans, you have some plates. I mean, I again, I don't want to give too much overview on this, but it's again, it's small. It's just everything you might want to have in here, uh, especially again, people that do mocks or maybe set dioramas. And again, you even got this 3D printed. I think I actually removed this from one of the dudes, but you have this harness too that they can all wear very nicely done so this would land on my number five all right number four another bird coming in hot <laughs> yeah this is a pretty cool brickmania kit if you don't know this is sikorsky <laughs> blackhawk uh60m and brickmania again done a bunch of uh blackhawk versions this is not the first one but this is probably the first one that has a sliding door which i really like has a bunch of print elements, comes with a crew of four. I'm not gonna show you the crew because they're already tightly packed inside. As you can see here, again, a bunch of print elements from both sides, give you a little bit of 360. Very nice kit, really enjoy it. Decent size, nice and sturdy. So you kind of actually can play with it, but it's also pretty cool for kind of mocks, dioramas. You can load up some figures inside here, the rotor spins. Yeah, check out my review video. I made pretty ex extensive, full reviews, like 20 minutes long, so you can check it out if you're interested. All right, next up, 
top three what we got we have our tomcat f14 kit i don't know if i can even fit it on the sc on the screen here on the video i'll try my best to push it back a little bit but what an amazing kit oh my god this one i always wanted it from brickmania but at the time of release it was crazy expensive well at least brickmania did a pretty awesome job by releasing this as a digital instruction so what it means basically you can go on the bricklink pick up a bunch of parts and you can build it yourself and then they also have a sticker sheet that you can apply which is pretty awesome this one right here it's the tomcat version that i've built and it does not come with the minifigures but you can again get those separate from brickmania maybe i can grab one of the guys why not just go for it and then you have those pretty cool cold war navy navy pilots with pretty amazing uh, 3d printed helmets if you want to be really cool <laughs> And if you were lucky enough to snatch a Miramar, basically Top Gun, Top Gun minifig kit, you can place Tom Cruise in here and make it, I guess, a little bit of a <laughs> kind of cool Mavic pilots inside. Again, just a quick shout out or maybe an honorable mention. If we're talking about the kits, I don't know if the, the, the Brickmania, Brickmania minifigures count as kits. If they don't, I also have a Tiger pack, which is really nice as well. But anyway, uh, back to the kit. Very nicely done, has some play functions as well. You can, you know, extend the wings, make it like a supersonic or whatever, whatever the term is. But again, have trouble putting it here on the camera, but very nice. Yeah, this is this is the function that you can. Expand, and then you have a little hook. So very nice. Again, I've done a video on this, if you are interested go check it out so number three all right since so i already mentioned miramar crew pack again honorable mention not part of the top 19 20 whatever list <laughs> but just gonna go ahead and show you the fix really quickly again very cool this is the four of them that come in the pack and i got the tom cruise himself and then we got the goose another honorable mention tiger crew pack Get those guys lined up here. This is the Tiger Crew Pack. Hope Rukmania releases a new one if they retire this one because those are freaking amazing. I really love them. Now I think that I'm hoping that if they're gonna release a new one, they're gonna release with an updated helmet piece um, that has the radio communication device. So hopefully they'll they will do that. But anyways, the the, the print of my video, which is the top top 20 minifigures that I have that I own, this is my number one. I do love love the print shop on this. With dot 44, I'm not mistaken, camo. But yeah, just honorable mention. All right, so my number two, this is the most recent video that I just put up, which is this head review. I love this so much. Again, it didn't land on my number one, unfortunately, it didn't. But number two, and it's a little bit of a cheat. It's not just the heads, it's actually heads with the Abrams. Uh, because I don't know, I just feel like putting this together. I feel like it goes very nicely together. It just makes a perfect combination you know I, I could have made it separately but i think for the purpose of this video or just how i'm going to display it how i'm going to have it um i think those have to be together as a combo so this is actually two kits so we have this abrams m1 a2 and then we have the heads m1070 if i'm not mistaken um but again here as a, for the purpose of this videos i've combined them together and put them both on number two because I'm, this is how i'm going to display them this is i'm going to have it and i'm really loving this kit Comes with a minifigure. You got this uh, kind of soldier guy here. Nothing too crazy special about it, but again, just how this is, is I mean, this looks amazing. Love it. So this will go on my number two. And now you might be wondering, what's my number one top of the tier, top of the tier brick mini kit? And that might become surprising to you if you haven't watched the channel for a long time. My number one kit is this Brickmania S160. And again, I'm doing a little bit of a cheat. I put it together with a rolling stock because of course those are separate kits that came separately from the Brickmania locomotive itself, this S160. So it's caboose, but I do run them together. I am planning to make another video on my trains. I have another train that came in recently, Disney train. And I can't wait to put it on this plane and run them. I love trains, I love Lego trains. So this is like, the ultimate thing for me i'm so happy i picked it up it was kind of expensive purchase at the time but i'm so happy and lucky that i was able to get this 
because there was a limited run for those locomotives. Um, it's very nicely detailed. This was done together with a, I don't know, I want to say professional like Lego train builders, uh, which is brick model railroader guys. And then Brookmania came in, stepped in, also made their input on this, has uh, 3D printed racing parts. It looks on point and accurate to the actual locomotive and when i run it i love it so much i actually just recently put some w2 so it runs a lot smoother now and then came again some rolling stocks also by brick mania and i don't just i just can't put it separately everything has to be together as one big thing it has a little tank here which is the sherman and when i run it i just love it so much yeah, that's basically it. That's my number one. I know it might be a little surprising. You might expect some huge kind of jet or helicopter, or I still have some kids I haven't built <laughs> that maybe didn't make it to the list. But at this time, and probably gonna stay this way, this is my numero uno. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top 20 or top whatever uh, Brick Mania kits. <laughs> I'm not sure how many it was. There were a couple of kits that I have reviewed on that actually sold off. I sold off the BTR. I also sold off this Nighthawk kit that I had, this is F117, if not mistaken. It looked pretty good as display, but I really didn't like the build. Maybe I put a little video here right now to show you, uh, and you can check out my review video on this as well, but it was very fragile. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and put something in the comments. Let me know if you agree with all the stuff that I've put here. Would you rank it any differently? And maybe you can put what kind of favorite kits from Brickmania you have put your top three or five or whatever you get top one put the favorite kit that you have you own put in the comments I, I like reading your comments and thank you for watching once again if you have subscribed please consider subscribing I'll try to make that thousand you know thousand and maybe there's some giveaway coming <laughs> but anyways thanks again and hopefully I'll see you soon bye for now